Another month, another Power BI update. Now, don't expect it to be too big or too revolutionary because it is August, it is summer, people have holidays, they have to rest, I completely understand it. But let's go through what they have released. So there's a new layout switcher for developing desktop or mobile updates. Probably it's the work of an intern. It is there, now it makes more discoverable that you can actually do mobile layouts, so it's nice. For the bubble visual, they have a new range scaling setting. So it is the scaling of the bubbles. They have some more information on the docs. It's a little bit unclear to me what everything does, so I will do a separate video so we can explore it in detail. I'm not really sure what they mean with all the stuff that is in there. So they continue updating uh, the OM object interaction pane, you know, the new formatting experience, where now I think the most significant change is that you can uh, resize it in case that you have long field names, so you can see the entire name. Uh, they had made some changes for the spotlight and focus. I don't normally use those, but the focus mode is when you, you know, expand the visual to get bigger. And now it will be a button there that will tell you if you are on edit mode while expanding. And last but not least worth mentioning is the mobile. If you're using the mobile app where you can see the reports on your mobile, so now you can launch reports. So when you open the app, which report should you show you first if you want to see that? So you can, as you can see in the images, set as a launch item, and then that's the one that will fire up when you open up the app. Okay, so this is all for Power BI, but there is one Excel update that we need to talk about because I was really surprised by it. Here's the thing. There's going to be... Python is going to be available in Excel through Anaconda. Like if you don't know Python, don't worry because nothing is going, everything is going to sound foreign to you. But that's if you know, you know what I mean. Like, and uh, great for Excel users. Well, I'm not sure how you know. I don't see Excel users using Python. I don't see Python users using Excel. But hey, there's probably a case somewhere. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. What I find puzzling is like, why haven't the Power BI team done that? And you may tell me like, Ruth, there is already Python integration in Power BI, but it is not because if you cannot refresh anything on the cloud, what's the point? So whatever you do in Python desktop is just useless if you cannot reuse it on the cloud. The reason why you use Power BI is to share with others. So imagine if we have Anaconda environment in Power BI service and Power BI desktop, like, why aren't you doing it? You're like, what? <laughs> I'm so jealous right now. Imagine having Matplotlib in Power BI desktop. Oh my God, that would be so cool. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe this means that they will do it. It's the next natural step would be to have um, Python and Anaconda, Power BI, fingers crossed, but yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs> Maybe it's just me that wants to have it. So yeah, that's all for today. I will see you again on the next video. We need to talk about this bubble thing. I, I need to explore a little bit more what everything means. Bye.